the Bible to the cross from the cross. Every Bible story has three components. First, God's law. Second, God's compassion. Third, God's miracle. Opening your Bible opens miracles. The Bible as one story is holy enough in our lives. Day 313, John 16-17 Jesus and the Holy Spirit With crucifixion only moments away, Jesus gave his disciples words they were to remember and prayed for them to be committed to God. First point, Jesus introduced the Holy Spirit to his disciples. Before being arrested and before Jesus went to Gethsemane with a few of his disciples, his teaching continued. Jesus taught his disciples that the Holy Spirit would be with them soon. This was Jesus preparing for their days after Jesus' resurrection and ascension into heaven so that they would continuously walk for God's kingdom. Another reason Jesus told them about the Holy Spirit was because he knew that the Sanhedrin assembly's attack would continue through to the disciples after Jesus' ascension. Jesus' disciples would be exiled from the Jewish community by the Sanhedrin assembly. Some would even be killed. We know that St. Paul used to be one of the persecutors. When the disciples feared, Jesus promised them that the Holy Spirit would be with them. The Holy Spirit would come to help the sinners realize their sins, make the righteous Christians shine through, and reveal God's judgment. However, the Holy Spirit would only come after Jesus' resurrection and ascension into heaven. Second point, Jesus promised that the disciples who would face immense hardship would be given strength by God to overcome it. Jesus now officially told his disciples about his suffering on the cross as well as his resurrection. At this time, the disciples could not understand this. When they failed to understand this, Jesus used the parable of a woman giving birth in order to explain. This was to show that Jesus' death would make the disciples lament and the Sanhedrin assembly glad. But through Jesus' resurrection, the disciples would be glad again. Jesus, moreover, taught them how to pray for the day. Jesus promised that if they prayed through Jesus' name, they would be saved, blessed, and be full of joy. When the disciples confessed their faith in Jesus, Jesus told them that they would betray him. This was a reference to the words in Zechariah. However, Jesus told them that as he would be victorious, so would they. This light became the confession of the apostles. Saint John confessed this as well as Saint Paul. Third point. Jesus prayed for himself and also for the glory of God. Unlike other Gospels, St. John recorded Jesus' prayer before his suffering on the cross and his resurrection. Jesus first prayed for God's glory before his. This prayer was after Jesus declared that in this world you will have trouble, but take to heart I have overcome the world. This prayer contained Jesus' confirmation that the Messiah came to fulfill God's plan, and this prayer is often referred to as the prayer of the high priest. Jesus then prayed that after the cross and resurrection, God's glory would be restored again as pre-creation. Fourth point, Jesus prayed for his disciples. Jesus' prayer continued. Jesus prayed with a heavy heart for the disciples and he left them behind. But Jesus helped the disciples stay strong and to rely on God. Jesus then prayed for them. As Jesus and God are one, Jesus prayed for the disciples to become one. Jesus emphasized that he was the one to protect them. Jesus also prayed for them 
to not fall into temptation and for God to look over them. Jesus told them that although the world would hate those who are God's, God would protect his people until the end. Jesus moreover told them of the remaining mission after Jesus left. His final prayer was for his disciples to be led into the truth. Fifth point, Jesus prayed for all the people in the kingdom of God. Jesus prayed for the people in the kingdom of God. He then prayed that they would all come together to participate in God's glory. I am thrilled that you have downloaded the Tondoc app. The Tondoc app is not like any other app in the world today as well as in the body of Christ today. Dr. Biyongo Zhou has devoted his entire life to teaching men and women like yourself to understand the entirety of the Word of God as a masterful and beautiful story from Genesis to Revelation. Dr. Zhou is a sought-after speaker worldwide. He's a cutting-edge pastor and leader. He is a renowned theologian and a prolific writer. And you're going to be equipped and energized like never before to understand and apply the Word of God into your life. Again, thank you for downloading the Tondoc app.